Hey guys, here is an endpoint in the REST API which I developed for the series and also shared with you all on GitHub. Now this endpoint retrieves all the members. So let me hit send and we see four members are returned in the response. Now in the same API, we can also append the query parameter gender equal to female or male. Okay, so in this case, the gender is set to female. I hit the send button and now the result is filtered down to just the female members. Okay. Now in rest assured, we run the same two requests like following. So the first member returns us all the members and the second one returns just the female members. Okay. Now let's observe these two test methods closely. Following AAA pattern of writing test cases, given statements are arrange, when statements are act and then statements are assert. And right away, we can say that it is a lot of duplicate code, which is certainly problematic. In here, we have only two tests, but in real time, you may have many. If we need to modify any construct in this pattern, then we need to make changes every place used. To fix such issues in programming, we follow the DRI principle, which stands for do not repeat yourself. So how could we implement DRI principle in such cases in REST assured? This is where guys request and response specification come into play. Let's see how we can rewrite these test cases using request and response specification. Let's create a setup method and annotate it with before class, which comes from test ng. Now to merge common request specifications together and put as a common entity, we use either request specification interface or request spec builder class in rest assured. Now guys, request specification is an interface that allows you to specify how the request will look like. This interface has ready-made methods to define base URL, base path, headers, etc. So let's specify request specification and import it. So this comes from io.restassured.specification and I'm doing control and clicking on this open declaration. All right, and now let's press control O. This is going to give us all the methods available in this interface. So you see body, cookies, params, query params, form param, relaxed HTTPS validation, header, content type, multipart, auth, spec, etc. Let's close this. Now guys, request specification is an interface and we cannot create an object of it. Request specification IMPL is the class which implements this interface. So how do we get a reference of request specification? Well, we have been using rest assured class static method given to get a reference of request specification. Let's do that. So the reference name is HTTP request and equal to, I say, rest assured. This comes from io.rest assured. And then we have the static method Q1, okay, like so. Now let's make use of static import from this rest assured class. So we just replace this given by all, okay. And now we don't need to mention this. This much we have already covered, all right. Now let's copy the rest and chain it with the given method. Okay, like so. All right. Now, since we got to use this reference down below in our test cases, let's declare it as a class property. So let me copy this much. Come out of my setup method and make it this as a class property like so. So now let me remove this. Okay. And format this code slightly. So like I mentioned, we can also create the request specification using request spec builder, but I'll come to that later. Let's now set up the response specification reference, which is our step two. Now response specification is an interface which allows you to specify how the expected response must look like in order for a test to pass. So let's create a reference of it. Response specification. The reference name would be HTTP response. This response specification comes from io.resassured.specification. Since we got our 
use this reference down below in our test cases let's declare this too as a class property so let me copy this and make it as the class property like so and now let me get rid of this declaration in here okay now this is equal to how am i going to create an instance of it so we have to make use of response spec builder okay this response spec builder class provides you a builder to create the response specification so let's write response spec builder but let's first understand this class so I'm gonna do control and click on this and again do control O this class has self-explanatory methods like expect status code expect headers etc let's close this let's create a reference of it response builder is equal to new response spec builder now using this response builder we are going to create the reference of response specification so like i said we have these methods expect okay so if i look at my then block in here i have to first check the status code so let's start typing expect status and then you see expect status code okay great so what do you have to mention you have to mention 200 all right let's chain another expect method wherein we are verifying the header okay so i say expect header and then i get this method okay great so we have to provide in the name of the header and then the matcher which comes from org.hemcrest.matchers okay so i simply copy this stuff this equal to method okay comes from hemcrest matchers all right like so okay but at the end you have to call in the build method okay this build method will actually give you the response specification okay like so all right guys now let's design our test cases using given when and then builder pattern all right so down below you see these two empty test cases all right the first one says get members using specs okay so we have to fetch all the members how do we do that so we start from k1 okay then we say dot and we provide in the spec okay now in given if you use the spec method okay you are still setting up your request so therefore you have to provide in the request specification okay so the request specification reference in our case is http request then we have to send the request okay so then we have the method dot when okay so in this you have to make a get request so you make the get request like so okay and then you use the then method all right and since this is a validatable response guys so then you have to say dot spec okay now this spec method takes in the response specification okay so when you're working in the given you use spec then you have to provide in the request specification but in the then since you have already received the response so therefore you are providing in the response specification okay and that is http response all right great now if you want to extend this further and this is the whole purpose of it right so you take the common code out but you still want the flexibility to extend it okay and you can do it right so you can say dot then and you can then use other things like you know let's use the uh, body method and in that you have to provide matches and all these things so let's do that so we have going to use this one okay matcher comma matcher all right let's do that so in here let's use the size method okay so we have this size okay remember there are four members so therefore in here we say let's use the uh, greater than okay and we have to import it so let's scroll to the top and instead of this equal to let's change it to star okay so we are doing the static import of all the matchers methods so now the error should go away all right like you see it's gone and then let's verify one more header okay and let's for now just verify this okay put a semicolon and we are done okay 
let's create our second method now all right so i'm gonna just take a copy of this so now guys in the first method okay we have not added anything to the request object okay so in this one we have to add the query parameters okay so let's see what all changes we have to make to this so instead of passing the spec like this you have to pass the spec in your given method and now in here you just say query parameter okay so let me copy the query parameter so this is the code that i have to now add to my request okay so if you have to extend your request object okay and you're using the request specification then this is how you have to do it okay and let's say this time i want to use the equal to method in here okay so this should be equal to two because remember there are only two female members so let me save everything and execute this code All right, so both of my test cases are passed. So if I, let's say, change it to five, remember there are only four, and let's execute it. So my first test case should be failed. Okay, it's failed. All right, so two test cases were run. There was one failure and one was passed. Okay, and let's see the uh, message. So yeah. A value should be greater than five but the actual value is four all right so it works let me change it back to two okay now let's create the request specification reference okay using request spec builder okay so i'm gonna say request spec builder and as usual let's import it first okay now this request spec builder comes from io rest assured dot builder dot request spec builder all right let's open this class okay and again do control o request spec builder is a class in rest assured which uh, contains method to set uh, cookies headers multi part details body authentication uh, form parameters query parameters uh, path parameters base path base uri proxy etc you know after adding all the required details we need to use build method of request spec builder class to get uh, request specification reference let's see how to do it let's close it okay so i say request builder okay is equal to i say new and request spec builder let me comment this out and we have to create this reference okay so we say request builder all right now what all things i have to add let's see so i have to add the base uri first okay so the method that we have is set base uri okay so we have this method great let me copy this stuff add it in here next we have to add the base path so again we say set base path and again let's copy this and paste it in here next we have to provide in the authentication okay so then we have again the method set authentication all right so now we have to provide in the authentication scheme how do i do that so i've already explained that in one of the videos so in the rest assured class okay we have a method which is basic okay so you have this basic method all right and now you have to provide in this admin admin all right and guys since we have done the static import so i can again get rid of this okay it should work then i have set up this basic authentication as well now i have to add the header so then i have this method header okay and in here you have string header name and string header value all right so let's provide in this as well and once like i said your request is set up then at the end you have to invoke the build method like so okay great so let's save everything okay and run the test again to see if everything still works all right so let's run this all 
okay so everything still works great and if i change this to five and run this again now this time the first sk should fail okay so one pass one fail and we see the same error great guys you uh, might get an exception java.lang.null pointer exception cannot get property assertion closer on null object okay when you use this request spec builder in a certain way so these are three different ways through which you can use it okay so if you have created this http request object and you directly use the get method on it okay then you get this particular exception okay but in the remaining two okay this would work okay so just make a note of it and this is a known issue let me uh, show you that open issue so guys this is that issue i'm talking about okay it's still open now guys in actual project you would keep this code in a separate file okay either in your base test class or uh, as a as a util class okay so something like this okay i've created this spec class and in that i have put in all these different methods okay so now this is an advanced concept therefore in my project now i have created a package advanced and in that you will find this spec file okay all right so one last thing before we conclude this video uh, how to set a default request specification which will be set to each request in rest assured okay to set a default request specification we need to use the static property request specification of rest assured class now when no other request specification is set to request default request specification would be sent and if we set another request specification to the request default request specification will be overridden by the new one likewise a default response specification can also be set up via response specification property which is again a static property available on rest assured okay so guys that's all from this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one